Mm. Good morning, everyone. Slitter here. Sports Live and ATL Sports Fitness Motivation Channel. That's why I love coming out here, y'all. Listen, crickets. Relaxation, man. Click the like button. Share it out. Like button helps the algorithm of the channel. Support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, Slitter Sports. Type a comment if you do donate. And uh, let me know what you want to say, and I'll read it out loud live. We're on a video. Well, guys, uh, we got two more days. One, well, actually, two more days until uh, the Falcons and the Saints on Sunday. It's going to be a very busy football four days for me with the Saints coming into Atlanta on Sunday. It's an early – for early season, it's a must win. We can't lose another home game. And then a couple days later, next Thursday night, or this Thursday night, we got the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming to town. So I'll be streaming both of those games. So make sure you uh, subscribe and Falcon fans, you know, let everybody know. It's going to be lit. It's going to be very, very important. But what's even more important right now is the Atlanta Braves. We all knew what uh, the Braves had to do going into these final um, five games. You know, we got that makeup game with the Mets on Monday here, doubleheader. Hopefully we don't need that game or both of those games. Worst case scenario, one. But I'm still expecting it to come down to that those two games, but you never know. Uh, first off, the Braves uh, did, by a masterful performance by Max Fried, uh, shut up the Kansas City Royals by a score of 3 nothing. Not a lot of offense. Um, we did just enough. I mean, like I said, you know, two days off, that should be no big deal. But with this inconsistent offense, I really, I really I told you coming in, I don't know what Braves team is going to show up. But it was great to see Max Fried, uh, dominant, eight and two-thirds inning, uh, Snicker tried to get him to complete game, but when you get two runners on with two outs, second and third, and probably the, one of the world's best hitters up there who could tie it in Salvador Perez, you got to go with your best option. Iglesias came in, and uh, Freed went out to a standing ovation. We all know he's a free agent at the end of the season. God, I hope we resign him. You know, I know it's it's a long term contract, but you know, you win titles in this league, World Series rings and stuff, and constantly compete when you resign top-notch players and you know Max Fried may not be he may not be the best pitcher out there but he is a very good pitcher and he is a pitcher who you want in big games remember Max Fried pitched um in the World Series clincher and um this was a huge game for us obviously and you know I I, I you know they, they botched it with Freddie Freeman you know not saying that Olsen is not good you know I'm glad to have him on the team but and they botched it with Freddie Freeman. They let Dansby Swanson walk, but Dansby's proven he's he, he isn't anything. He's just been terrible with the Cubs. But, you know, if it is his last uh, regular season performance with the Braves and hopefully not the last uh, pitching performance from the Braves, I wish him all the best. I remember I saw Max Fried come up in the minors, number 54, and you're thinking he's coming up from Gwinnett and he's just like one of those, you know, one of those guys with those those medium sized numbers don't really do anything. He did not look like one of those pitchers that was going to be dominant. Max Free just kind of when I saw him come up with the Braves, uh, his first start, uh, he just looked or in spring training, he just looks like one of those guys that's going to just be like a bullpen guy or guy being traded all over the place. But wow, what a pitcher he's turned into. But Max, thank you very much, sir. We needed that. And I uh, really hope that this is not your last appearance for an, in a Braves uniform. But most importantly, the Braves did get the win last night, 3-zip. And they also got the help they needed. Uh, the New York Mets got beat by the Milwaukee Brewers by a score of 8-4. to four. Uh, Capped, really, by a grand slam by former Philly, Reese Hoskins, early in the ball game. That pretty much put the nail in the coffin. New York had some injuries, obviously, with Francisco Alvarez and, you know, their being cautious with Francisco Lindor. I don't wish injury on anybody. I don't. I really don't. So, you know, I hope everything's okay with both of them. But they definitely need their, their best players. Um, and then on uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks lost at home to the Padres by a score of 5-3. to three. So currently right now, with four games to go, two, pretend, two definite games to go, the Braves are in the second wild card spot right now. The reason why we are ahead of the uh, New York Mets, the Mets are in third, is because right now we hold the tiebreaker over the Mets by a game. Uh, and then we hold the tiebreaker because we finished off like 
what was it like five and two against the pod against the uh, Diamondbacks. So right now the Braves are in the second wild card spot, and tonight Ronaldo Lopez is coming off the injured list. And if he can give us anything, five six good innings, five innings, I'll be I'll be happy because I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna pull all stops here. And you know I, I it wouldn't surprise me if the if the Braves really have a chance to. Uh, not play that doubleheader. They're going to go do everything they can to win these two games. Now, the only way the Atlanta Braves will clinch a playoff spot two ways, actually, after Sunday is if the Braves do sweep the Kansas City Royals. We've got two more opportunities to win. And the um, uh, Padres take two of three from the Diamondbacks, and they've already got one. Then the Braves will clinch a playoff spot and, I think, knock Arizona out. Um I'm not sure how the Mets can get eliminated. I don't think the Mets can get eliminated. So if the Braves, first and foremost, if we have to play any games Monday, I just want it to mean maybe that the Mets, you know, need need to win one or two to get in or something like that. Because I would love nothing more than to be able to say after Sunday the Braves are in the playoffs and not have to sweat out. Because it doesn't matter who the Braves would play in the playoffs. I don't care because you, you, know, you have to beat who, who you play. I just want to get in. I don't care if it's the Brewers. I don't care if it's the the the, the Padres, and whatever. Just play. Um, but in the way that this season has gone, the way Mets fans have been on YouTube, it would be a perfect scenario for me to not need any of those two games to make the playoffs. If the Braves already have the playoff spot clinched, and then if we win one of those two games, we'll knock out the uh, New York Mets from playoff contention. That would be so fitting. But in order for that to happen, I, I mean, I believe that's, that could happen. But in order for it to happen, the Braves need to win these next two games. Lopez is going to pitch today. It, <coughs> I'm serious. If the, I, I know what they're doing with Chris Sale. They're trying to save him for an elimination game or whatever. But if you have a chance to clinch a playoff spot Sunday, you pitch Chris Sale. Or if you have a chance, you know, you, you, have a, you pitch Chris Sale. And let's just say the Braves win these two games, but the Diamondbacks do win the next two games, and the Braves may have to win one of those games against the Mets to clinch a playoff spot. You got to you got to pitch Chris Sale the first game against the Mets, obviously. You know, I mean, I could see a scenario where the it, the game will the, both of those games will be played Monday. If the Braves the Braves only need the, if the Braves win the first game, they clinch their playoff spot. And if the Braves win the second game, the Mets are eliminated. That would be ideal. And on Monday, I should be able to stream the second game in full and the first game probably a couple of innings in. So, but I would rather know going into that that game, that's those two games that we either we have clinched a playoff spot. That's what I would rather have. But again, the Braves got to finish off the Royals. The Royals clinched a playoff spot when the Twins lost at home. So. I don't know if they'll be motivated to play. The Padres clinched their their fourth seed. I don't know if they'll be motivated to play the next two games. But the way I look at it is, you know, you the Royals should come in here wanting to be on a hot streak. Because, I mean, even though I, I, I love to get in the playoffs any way possible, it means a little bit more when the teams that you're playing are at their best. You know, but, you know, obviously beating the Royals, if they put out a B team out there, hey, so be it. But it means more if you could win against the top players. I mean, like I said, you know, because it keeps you fresh and it keeps your competition level going. Because we need these games. But I'll take the games any way possible. Same with the um, uh, the Padres. You know, you, they would love nothing more than to beat the Diamondbacks. Because I think the Diamondbacks eliminated them last year, I think, in the playoffs or something. So, you know, there's always payback and there's always bragging rights. And they are in your division. But... I can't control what's going to happen today. I can't control what's going to happen Sunday or possibly Monday if we do play those two games. But what I do know right now is that if the season ended, right now the Braves would be in a second wild card spot. So just got to you know be happy with the win, be happy with the fact that the Brewers won over the Mets, and be happy that the Padres won over the Diamondbacks. And let's see if we can duplicate that today. But at least what we got to do is do handle our business. Because right now, if we handle our business... Um, Right now, if we, if we win these two games, we'll end, I believe, in the second wild card spot. I, we, I, I could be wrong, but because if we're in the second second wild card spot right now due to tiebreakers, I would think if we win these next these next two games, 
and the Mets still in the pot in the Diamondbacks still win next two, I would think we would clinch. I don't know because it would remain, remain the same. I don't know how it goes, but it's I just confusing. But you know, it's what we put ourselves in because of inconsistent play this year. But I'm focused on the now, and I'm focused. Like I said, right now the Braves have a two game, have a four game winning streak. We're winning games at the right time. Doesn't matter how you do it. And I hope we get a good, great performance from Renato Lopez um, today or tonight. I will not be able to stream the game tonight. If the Braves have an opportunity to clinch, um, I will stream. But if it mixes in with the Falcons tomorrow, then we're going to have to wait until the Falcons game is over. So I might do a bonus stream live with the Braves uh, if they can clinch Sunday, if they can clinch Sunday, definitely with a win. If they are winning after the Falcons uh, and Saints game, because the Braves game is at three o'clock or something, I will stay live and I will transition over to the Braves and hopefully get a chance to celebrate a Braves clinching a Braves playoff berth. So hope that doesn't confuse anybody, but uh, so far so good, and um, we'll see how it goes. Sports live in the ATL Slither Sports Fitness Motivation Channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Click notification bell, cash app, dollar signs to the sports. Go Braves. Go Falcons. Go Georgia. Georgia big game today at Alabama. I got it close, so I will not be able to stream it, but I will give my thoughts on it, and I will be following it tonight. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah. Go Brewers. Oh, yeah. Go Padres again. Oh, yeah. Any team that plays the Phillies in the playoffs, go you. And I'll see you in the next one.